Away from Nigeria, West African regional bloc ECOWAS has warned candidates in Liberia's recent elections against any premature declarations of victory and said it would crack down on instigators of violence. Liberians voted on October 10 on whether to re-elect football legend George Ware, the favorite to win for a second term as president, as well as choosing their new parliament. Now, the vote was the first to be held since the United Nations ended its peacekeeping mission in Liberia in 2018, which was created after more than 250,000 people died in two civil wars between 1989 and 2003. The vote count is now underway with the final outcome to be announced within the two weeks of the vote. And now joining me live from Monrovia, the capital of Liberia, is Samuel James Pato, is a national program manager, Federation of Liberian Youth, and the coordinator of the Youth Election Situation Room. Thank you so much, Samuel, for joining us. Thank you very much and good afternoon um, to everyone listening. Um, it's good to be back on um, New Central. So um, since the election was concluded in um, Liberia, a lot of people were thinking that by now we would have gotten the actual figures and by now um, a winner would have been declared. So what is the situation like in Liberia? And of course, people are waiting for the declaration of results. Well, thank you. Essentially, as we speak right now, as of yesterday, we, um, the National Elections Commission had collated over 70 percent of um, the results from around and across the country. Um, so today at again 4.30 p.m. GMT, we expect some additional results. But um, there's the finalized collation in some counties um, like um, Lofa County, Bakulu County and some other counties. Um, collation have been finalized and all the results of these counties have been um, released. And so um, as we speak, um, the, 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 the contention now is whether or not there will be a potential runoff or whether um, any of the major candidates is going to win the elections on the first ballot. So there is tension mounting across um, major counties across the country and uh, conversations are happening and international organizations are warning um, for post-election you know, violence. And we think um, right now the country is very fragile and um, Everyone is on their heels and waiting for the National Elections Commission to announce the final results. But today we'll get additional updates, and I'm sure um, before the end of the week we'll have the final um, elections results announcement possible. Okay, Samuel, two things quickly. Um, as of last week, we know that there were some counties where elections didn't hold, and that was due to um, the late arrival of voting material. So I'd like to find out from you, because as of last week, we weren't so sure, we weren't so sure if elections will eventually be held there. So I'd like to find out, did um, the electoral officials eventually go to those areas and hold elections and grant the people in those counties the opportunity to vote for their preferred candidates. And the other side is that we heard that um, the incumbent president, that is George Ware, is actually leading the race now. Um, are there any reactionary uh, moves by the opposition as regards these um, tentative reports that we're getting from Liberia? Well, um, oppositions are making claims that they have the different tally sheets from around the country. And so um, they're only waiting for the National Elections Commission to announce the results so they can make the comparison with what they have. But currently, as we speak, um, in counties specifically where you know, elections are yet to take place, um, we yet to receive a definite update from the National Elections Commission as to when um, elections are going to happen in these places or if you not know, all elections you know, have you know, happened in these places. So uh, today we expect to get more information, more updates, but um, as we speak, um, Oppositions are um, saying that the National Elections Commission has been very, very slow in announcing the results. So um, we're expected that by now most of the results will have been in because um, tallying is technological and all the votes are being you know, tallied at you know, different places that have access to internet and technology. So we're, we're, we're the conviction that by now all the results will have been in, but again, we don't have the authority, only the National Elections Commission have the authority to announce um, general elections results. So we're we're hoping for a uh, better updates today at the National Elections Commission usual press briefing, and um, we're hopeful that uh, like this will be peaceful and wait for the final elections results to be announced eventually. Okay, now, um, as of last week, both um, local and international observers gave kudos to Liberia for the peaceful conduct of its elections. 
But now we are hearing that um, some supporters of the opposition uh, of some political parties, let me put it that way, are visiting Tallinn centers. So I'd like to find out, are they armed and could that constitute a threat to the overall uh, conclusion of the elections? Of course, we are waiting for the announcement now. Could that um, pose a threat to um, the conclusion of what we're expecting in the country? Well, definitely, it will it will threaten the overall you know, credibility of the overall electoral result if we have people visiting the Italian census and trying to influence or change, you know, previously agreed numbers, you know, that have already been validated at the different polling places across the country. So, um, we late last week there were incidents of you know, you know, unknown persons supporters of quote unquote um, certain political parties visiting the various Italian centers and threatening um. And people at these talent centers, but again, um, suicide organizations you know, we've informed the Ministry of Justice, the Liberal National Police, and they beefed up securities in these places. So, I uh, were hopeful that, um, you know, as we speak right now, the talent centers are safe, and um, you know, the Liberians that are working there and the observers that are observing the talent of the votes, you know, um, you know, are safe right now because there's you know, they beefed up security in these places, and we're hopeful that, you know, whatever is coming from the various talent centers across the country is indeed, you know, credible enough, you know, to be validated as, you know, the credible elections results. So um, now that you have said that about 70% of um, uh, collation of results have been done in Liberia, uh, how soon do you think that the NEC will be done with the tallying of the votes and announcements will be done anytime soon? Because I know that a couple of um, citizens in the country are a bit well, well, agitated. Well, we're well, 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 anticipating that um, if the trends follow through as we are seeing right now, um, we can say that by latest um, Friday, we should have an idea of who won these elections and whether or not they won the elections on first ballot or if there's going to be a potential run of elections, you know, as we, you know, you know, await the final elections now, just announcement. Okay. But, um, all ears and all eyes are going to be on the headquarters of the National Elections Commission today, and um, we're, we're hoping that the National Elections Commission is going to provide um, you know, extensive updates and reports on um, how far the results are and what results are available now, and also provide updates on whether or not um, voting is going to take place in other parts of the country that are yet to, yet to take place. Well, uh, Friday might be another long wait for some people, but then we don't have to choice. We don't have a choice, rather. We always okay. have to wait. Uh, thank oh, you so much, I'm Samuel. Samuel James, thank you so much for giving us heads up.